great option, but a bit weaker than it was Smash 4. Smash yep. 4 Shield was very, very potent. Which, uh, that's another thing that a lot of people have had to get used to, is how the defensive options are not as strong in this game. Mm -hmm. And I personally like it because it's removed grabs from being such a main yes, focal and, point And it's of definitely characters. sped the game up significantly. All right, so Tranbian 5000 is, is going for Diablo. And I gotta agree, I love these players, but I'm a big Diablo fan. But, I mean, again, if Lava wins, I will not complain. We have Rob versus Pokemon Trainer. So in this matchup, Rob is the very, very strong off-ledge game, very strong edge guarding game, and incredible recovery. But Ivysaur, with his down air, is so effective at getting the kills on Rob. So like we always say, Ivysaur is definitely the best option, but Diablo loves to start Squirtle, try to get that early damage with Squirtle's yeah. great speed and combo game. And, you know, two forward airs right away, showing off exactly what I was talking about. As you can see right there, uh, Diablo was angling his shield a little bit to, 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 to try to try to defend himself from a getup. Yep. Option. So that he to prevent shield, shield poke. poke from yep. happening, as you were saying. Yes. And there's that guy you're talking good about. Down there. And as, as I said, takes Lada out that way. It's a very consistent kill option. One of the few characters that can really bully Rob off stage. Yep. Uh, from the looks of Lada in the player cam, it seemed like that was a buffered air dodge. Or yeah, it might have it might have been a mistake. Uh, it, it seemed like he tr tried air dodging past the first uh, down air, and then it came out afterwards. But this definitely seems like a tough matchup for Rob. Uh, he might want to try the Falco if this goes as if it continues to be a struggle for him. And he was just able to destroy the, the top very easily. Oh, and he punishes the, uh, the, the the platform tech with an up smash. That was awesome. That was a great read from Lada. And oh, but immediately kill right back with Charizard's powerful forward air. Very strong forward air, but I, I think that was some questionable DI. It could, it could have been. Definitely could have been. Because Rob is pretty heavy. Rob is pretty heavy, and they were pretty close to stage. All right, uh, I like the way he uses the dreidel to like, cover a part of the stage and then move in with his offense. It makes it tougher to run in on him. Squirtle doesn't have a lot of projectile. Ooh, that's a kill. Oh, that's a quick kill. Lada taking it right back. Very solid. I definitely think he needs to play uh, the entire match like he did that second, this last stock of his, where he is zoning out and making uh, Diablo approach him instead of trying to be the aggressor. Because while Rob has good options, uh, a lot of the Pokemon have very fast uh, aerials. They can outspace them. And very quickly, Lada has retaken the lead here. Oh, absolutely. He's showing dominant play right now. Very heavy. Ooh. Oh, and the downer punishes the uppie. And Lada yeah. was at such an advantage, but he has taken it back. Lada is looking very strong today. That was a very good... Uh, coverage on Diablo's recovery, I think that it might have been better for him to just go ahead and upbeat the ledge with the Ivy Sword. I agree with the, uh, with the tether recovery. With the tether, it's, really to, it's punishable, but it can be tough to do. I think if he had maybe done a uh, Flare Blitz the ledge, it would have been a little bit better, but once he lent himself to that one option to get back, that was a lot easier for uh, a lot of the cover. Of the yes, and now we're going right back in. Diablo wants that run back as soon as possible. So this is Winner's Quarterfinals, as you see on your screen. Uh, winner of this gets into the top eight winner's side. Uh, they're on the opposite end of Best Ness, who is also in uh, winner's semis. Or is this the same side? He seems to be doing a, a lot better just going for the up tilt out of that down throw. Seems to be a lot more consistent on uh, oh, comboing. Forward air in, forward air into that. Oh, side be such a consistent killer. Oh, and Lada's dominating this set. That is. Lada's here to play, and Lada's here to win. And I want. Oh, <laughs> yo, he is using. He is using it. He is using the dreidel so effectively. And yes, I know it's really the. I know it's really the the, the gyro. And I try. I try to give the screen what they want, but there's some things you just can't compromise in life. And uh, as we mentioned before, whenever we had a Rob on stream, it seems that he is able to like recover from a lot further out and stall his recovery a lot off yeah. stage. Oh, great punish on the tech with that up air, and he gets that up B again. A few more hits like that, and Diablo will take will take Rob out. Oh, good, good use. That neutral air is so good. Yeah. Covers so much space. Such a great way to protect yourself. It, it's pretty much a. It feels like a sword, uh, swordy uh, nair. Yes, it does. It absolutely does. It's not as fast, no. but, uh, but it has. But it's a lot stronger. Giant hitbox. It's a lot like Schultz. Yep. 
Who jumps uh, up and, get, and gets that up air. And right now, Diablo is fighting for his life, gets that forward air. But Rob, this robot refused it. Okay, that, that's yeah, going to do it. That, that, up, that up throw is a powerful kill option, especially when you have flat. It was an instant transmission into the blast zone. But Diablo is taking up. Uh, oh, good down smash. Diablo does not look happy with that. Uh, going right back to Squirtle to try and build more damage. Uh, seems like he's taking a page out of Lada's book with the down tilt. Absolutely. Actually, I think that's forward tilt for Squirtle. Is it forward tilt? The, 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 like, the, like, yeah. The whip? I, I think it's forward tilt. Too. I could be wrong. Uh, oh, good back air with Ivy Sword. This is the kind of advantage he needs to bring this game back. It's quick, eighty-five percent. I think if Diablo. he gets if he gets uh, any sort of combo into the uppy, it might be able to kill now. Uh, if they're at, right at the ledge. Uh, are you are you aware if uh, Ivy Sword has a sweet spot on the upbeat? Because it seems like I believe time... I believe it does. Well, that caught the tether recovery and. Oh, switches the char. I didn't even see the switch. Yeah, no, that switch way off screen. He, he was in the little. Ooh, Slayer Blitz! All right. <laughs> oh, all right. So this is this. This will be a tough comeback, but it's definitely doable. Oh, Yo, the jab lock. He, does he gets the jab lock and does it. Misses the tech off the ground. Gets a quick 39%. Immediately goes to Ivysaur. I like that. Ivysaur's got some weight. And he's got all that power. If he's able to bring this back, then. It's going to show that neither of these really are able to close out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay. oh, and the up air. Will that take it? No, oh, Ivy Sword the head mode. Sniped him. Ooh. Ooh. All right, jumps the down up, gets the forward air. Blocks the neutral air. Smart. Ooh. Oh, getting Good punished. Job. Oh, excellent, oh. excellent use of the dreidel to cover the ledge. It's oh. a down throw into Uppy, and he takes it back. What is Yo, this set? That was a, that was so clutch. Diablo showing his talent. That man was number one two weeks ago, number two on Tuesday. He is not ready to go into loser's bracket just yet. This man is a Pokemon master. As we saw right there in the windscreen, we saw Pokemon trainer Giving a big old hug to Ivysaur for carrying I, I, him that victory. Ivysaur carried the team. That was Ivysaur carries a lot of teams, <laughs> it seems. <laughs> so, in both games, we've seen the one who falls behind early come back and get yeah, the win. So it shows just how there have been during my whole time commentating. It's been three events now. It has been so hard to call a match. It's been able to happen, but we've seen so many crazy comebacks. And even when they weren't full comes back, people being able to really close that deficit and adapt. That's what that's the difference between a top player and a mediocre player is their ability to change their strategy and, and remember and recognize what their opponent's doing and change their game plan. That that is the kind of play I love to see. Everyone loves to see blows up in high intensity matches, but I really like to watch patient, adapt heavy, adaptation heavy play because that shows the talent of the players that yes. are going. Uh, something I've noticed uh, with Ivysaur is it seems if he uses his forward air, it just gets rid of the gyro entirely. Oh, yes. Which uh, seems to sort of remove the option of it keeping him at ledge. Uh, just, he just drops from ledge and jump forward airs. Uh, as most Pokemon trainer do, they get him, they get the opponent to round 50 and then switch from Squirtle to Ivysaur. No, it's a smart play. Ivysaur gets the solid kill so quickly, and he's just a such, and with his weight too, he's such just such a solid character. I thought Ivysaur wasn't heavy, and last week Diablo was, well, that Tuesday Diablo was living so hard, and then I was talking to some guy, and they like, no, Ivysaur is heavy. Like, oh, I didn't know that. Ivysaur's got to wait to imagine if Venusaur was in the oh. game, how heavy that boy would be. Ooh, as I, like I was saying, at a certain percent, I believe the plant in the up smash is, if not true, true-ish. Yeah. True enough. <laughs> it, it, Almost it, true. It's scary enough. Uh, it seems that at low percent he does up tilt into up air, uh, and that can lead to a lot of damage. And, and mix-ups, like and if, mix they land, and if they land on the platform, he can then chase him. Oh. Ghost goes for the flare blitz to recover, but this is... Ooh, gets a flare blitz kill. I love to see it, but... Managed to once, make it back. He's once down again, a Lada's got a big lead. A lot of... Uh, Diablo gets a ton of mileage off dropping from the platform into, like, forward air and yeah. other aerials. He's doing that. He does that a ton in every in every game I've seen oh. play. Early side beat, that early kills side. the poor little light squirtle. All right. Diablo made an excellent comeback last match. Are we going to see that again, or is Lada going to dominate the devil himself? Oh, oh. good poke. 
Switch. Switch is so good. Yes. It's like an extra air dodge. I believe it's invincible for frames like 1 to 15. 20. 1 to 20. 1 to 20. That's crazy. Yep. It, it is basically another... Uh, it's another air dodge. Another air dodge, except it's not as laggy. Yes, and Diablo uses it a lot to get out of characters that do a lot of up tilts in a yep. combo. He used, he will he'll switch in the middle of that and break the string and then kind of drift to the left to get out of the situation. Uh oh, great use of the dreidel into the combo. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, and the up the smash switch. on the switch. That was awesome. And Lada puts Takes Diablo it. in losers. It was a great game from yep. Diablo, but Lada showed his dominance there. And now he's going against Bestness.